Gas prices are down from the record highs that we saw last month. Currently, the national average price for a gallon of gasoline is $4.72 down about 6% from the high of 502 that we hit last month. Where do prices go from here? Gas price expert Patrick DeHaan from Gas Buddy with me now. Patrick, thanks for joining us. As we just Thank said, you, of course, prices down about 30 cents, so 6%, however you want to do the math since we hit those record highs last month. Where do we go from here? Well, we'll continue to go down here over the next five to seven days and potentially beyond that. As you mentioned now, though, with a positive jobs report, oil prices are going back up on the reduced potential of an economic slowdown. But for now, motorists will see another five to seven days of declining prices. We could see the national average getting closer to 450 a gallon. But uh, we are not out of the woods yet. We still could see prices reverse heading into August as hurricane season enters its prime. So, Patrick, not that I am complaining about cheaper gasoline prices, but what was the cause? Was it just fears about a global recession? Well, I think that was a big piece of the puzzle, but also we've seen a little bit of improvement when it comes to supply and demand. That is, supply has increased for gasoline two out of the last three weeks. We got a big jump in oil inventories this week. Refineries are humming along using 95% of their capacity. And so things have improved there enough to at least allow some temporary relief. So, Patrick, I'm looking at a chart that you posted. It has a lot of crazy arrows, but take us through what this means. It's essentially uh, showing us, we know that the president has talked a lot about Putin's price hike, but you really went through this TikTok, this chronology, to show why and when prices moved when they did. What stands out to you? Yeah, Deidre, this is a lot of what have been influencing the price of gasoline has less to do with politics and more to do with a lot of abnormalities that you wouldn't see in a normal year. Obviously, we're still recovering from COVID. There are still supply imbalances. That's affected things like oil production and refineries. We've lost a million barrels a day in refining capacity, and that's amplified any small issue that's come along. Demand has surged. But because of Russia's war in Ukraine, oil production has dropped. Not only that, but it dropped because of COVID. So there are a lot of imbalances that are being smoothed out. U.S. oil production is going up. But all of this together has created a, a, an, an environment with very little spare capacity, no margin for error. And as a result, gas prices have been very high as demand is high and supply is low keywords there, demand and supply. And I heard you say earlier, Patrick, I didn't want to just gloss over it, but what if we do get a big hurricane? How high could we go? Well, it, it, if it's a hurricane, that could lead to supply disruptions. Not every hurricane is the same, but look for a major hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico. It would have to shut down both oil production and even more significantly refining capacity. We could see gas prices retest our previous high of 503 and they could go even higher depending on the severity of the storm. All right, well, we'll keep our fingers crossed for many reasons that that does not happen. Finally there, Patrick, for advice for Americans who are trying to find the lowest gas prices in their area, what do you suggest? Well, it, shop around. Use an app for that, whether it's gas, but you Google or Waze. We're seeing now close to 6,000 stations back under the $4 a gallon mark. Some stations are delivering those lower prices faster than others. Check those wholesale clubs. They, can, they generally are price leaders, bringing prices down faster. And especially be wary of those state lines if you're hitting the road. Patrick, thank you very much. Patrick DeHaan joining us there from Gas Buddy. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.